Hi everybody, welcome to Minecraft Snapshot 18W16A. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new features added this week, so let's go ahead and get started. First of all, there is changes to the world generator today, in that we now have the ability to, once again, make customized worlds. So they actually removed the old customized world type, and they've now added this, uh, world type buffet. So if we go ahead and click customize here, you can see we have world buffet, world customization. Uh, and yeah, we can select the generator type so we can generate the world as if it was the overworld or the end Let's just go ahead and for the fun. We'll do the end for this one and let's do let's see. Let's find a good biome. What about? Extreme Hills jungle, so let's do where is the Ice plane spikes here we go. So we're gonna make an ice plane spikes biome But it'll be like it's the end so it's gonna be like Islands of Ice Plain Spikes. So let's go ahead and see if we can try this one out. We'll go ahead and hit Create World. And so basically this World Buffet Generator allows you to create custom worlds with one biome and one world generation type. Presumably they might add more in the future, but here we go. Yeah, this is looking nice. Yeah, cool. So <laughs> as you can see, we now have a buffet world type that has end generation and the biome is ice plane spikes so let's do one more of these buffet world types let's go to customize and let's go to let's go to overworld generation and let's say we want the entire world to be extreme hills let's say so this will generate a world with uh the entire world being extreme hills so we should see mountains everywhere and no lowlands basically so guys, as expected here, you can see we now have a world with extreme hills biome absolutely everywhere. There's mountains everywhere, and even these valleys here are still extreme hills biome. Hopefully in the future they change the buffet world to allow multiple biome types, but for now it's just the one biome type and the one world generation type, either the overworld or the end. So that is the customized buffet world. Another change this week is that blue ice has been made less slippery. So if we go ahead and do a test here, we're going to drop these blocks into some water and we're going to see how far they slide. The blue ice should be a little bit more slippery than the packed ice, but not quite as slippery as it once was. So let's go ahead and test this out. We'll just get rid of this and we'll see which one of these goes further. So yeah, you can see the blue ice still goes a little bit further, but not quite as significant as it was before. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to test out the boat speed on packed ice versus blue ice. And we'd expect the difference to be significantly less now that the blue ice has more friction. So let's go ahead and test it out. Three, two, one. So you can see that the blue ice is still quite fast, much faster than the packed ice, but it is significantly slowed from the previous snapshot, which you can see from the differences between this boat and this boat, which was the previous snapshot and this snapshot. So yeah, quite a big difference in speed on the blue ice for the ice boat roads. Mining coral blocks now requires you to have silk touch on your tools. So here I have silk touch on this pickaxe right here. And if I mine it out, you can see, yeah, we get the living coral blocks back. But if I didn't, if I have just a regular pick, no enchants on it, you'll see I get the dead coral block back. So, yeah, make sure you have silk touch on your tools to be able to get living coral blocks. They've also changed the particles that are around the conduit block this week. As you can see, there are now sort of bubbles that get pulled out of the prismarine blocks toward the conduit block itself, which is kind of awesome. Another new feature added this week involves ocean ruins. In particular, ocean ruins will now sometimes spawn with drown mobs inside of them, protecting the ocean ruins from invasion. One slight change to coral reefs this week. Coral fans will now spawn naturally in the world on the side of coral blocks, as you can see here. Another change this week is that you can now have a one block tall bubble column. So here you can see we have the magma blocks and the soul sand blocks and both bubble columns work in one deep water now. There have also been changes to the potion of the turtle master this week. Namely that instead of getting resistance six on the top tier potion, you now only get resistance four. So instead of being totally invulnerable to damage, 
you now only get an 80% reduction. They've also nerfed the other uh, lesser potion of the Turtle Master that is now Resistance 3 instead of Resistance 4 as it was before. There were a couple of other technical things that have been added. For instance, there is now a valid spawn tag, which you can apply to blocks as a map maker, and you can essentially make any block spawnable now, so that's pretty cool. They've also separated block ticks from liquid ticks, which results in a couple of interesting things with water mechanics. Um, they've also fixed a few bugs, for instance, like the sponge will now once again pick up water via flowing water. So something like that is now possible once again. That didn't work in the previous snapshot. One of my favorite features this week is that the camera now no longer instantaneously changes position when the elytra are deployed. So what that means is your takeoffs and landings with elytra are now super, super smooth. Let me just show you here. So if I do that, you'll see, wow, that was pretty smooth. <laughs> so there's no like initial jerk of the camera uh, when you take off with the elytra and also the landing is going to be super smooth as well. So if I come on in here, and let me just get really slow so you can see it. Yeah, there you go. So it went from flying to standing up after I landed with the elytra very, very smoothly. Another feature I found kind of interesting is that you can now place water on top of fence gates. Now, previously you couldn't do this because the right click functionality of the fence gate overrode the water, but now you can actually place it directly on top. So that's kind of an interesting feature as well. Another interesting change is that dispensers can now use fish in a bucket. So you can now dispense fish in a bucket with a dispenser into the world like that. And you see the fish actually does show up there. However, you can't use this to recapture the fish. So you can't, for instance, use a water bucket like that. It doesn't really pick up the fish. Uh, and yeah, you see if you try it with just an empty bucket, of course, it just takes the water away. So could be used in something like a method to stock an aquarium. Like an automatic way to restock an aquarium with fish but yeah still kind of interesting there were also a bunch of other small bug fixes and changes which you'll find in the change log in the description below anyways for now that's all from me from snapshot 18w16a thank you all very much for watching this has been cub goodbye